good morning students hope you are keeping fine at home today i am going to discuss with you about an important layer of the atmosphere we have discussed the five layers of the atmosphere but today uh, i am going to highlight and discuss little more about an important layer that is called ozone layer this ha this has to be discussed because it is an important layer in the atmosphere and a uh, little bit you know about it also today we will dis discuss little more uh, detail so where it is found where is ozone layer found which part of the atmosphere i think you know that so it is found in the stratosphere it is found in stratosphere so uh, let us then it is uh, this, uh, let us then discuss uh, ozone layer is a deep layer in the atmosphere that contains ozone that uh, which is a natural occurring molecule containing three oxygen atoms three oxygen atoms these ozone molecules form a gaseous layer of the of, uh, in the earth's surface earth upper part called atmosphere that is called at stratosphere that's why it is said it is found in stratosphere this lower region of the stratosphere containing relatively higher concentration of ozone layer it is containing other parts of the uh, of the ozone Uh, the stratosphere yet the lower part is more dense the ozone it is called ozonosphere it is called ozonosphere it was it is found uh, 15 to 35 km above the surface of the earth the concentration of ozone layer is usually under three, uh, 10 parts per 10 parts per million 10 part parts uh, per million but it depends on uh, region to region and season to season region to region and season to season it is said a season and geography so region to region and season to season if for example in the tropical regions which are the tropical regions which part of the earth is known as tropical regions yes tropical regions are the equatorial regions what we call the 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 uh, torrid regions torrid regions they are known as tropical regions and uh, less amount thinner at the poles as it goes towards the pole it becomes thinner and thinner both in the in the lower uh, what called south pole and the north pole of the globe so the ozone layer forms a thick layer in the stratosphere encircling the earth to protect and protect the the life on earth even the minute microisms are also protected by this ozone layer because this uh, harmful rays can reach and harm this organisms life or the other ecosystem even the it is said that even the aquatic animals are harmed by the ultraviolet rays that come from the sun so the ozone layer was discovered in 1913 by the french physicists charles babri and uh, fabre and henry bussens the ozone layer has the capability to absorb 97 to 99% of the harmful ultraviolet radiation of the sun radiation of the sun and so it is very important uh, gas that protects us the ozone layer has been shielded uh, has been shielded life on plant uh, planet earth for billions of years but it is it is um, depleted by the human activities when we do we have for our development purpose we have uh, to to uh, produce uh, 
different other things on the way we uh, exert exert chlorofluorocarbon chloro chlorofluorocarbon and that is harmful to the ozone layer it dilutes or it makes it thin so seeing the catastrophe of the ozone uh, catastrophe of ozone or by the chlorofluorocarbon uh, the whole world leaders came together and signed a treaty called the montreal treaty protocol montreal protocol signed in uh, here it is written 1973 but originally it has been signed uh, 16th september 1987 please note that 16th Se uh, september 1987 and 46 countries had signed initially initially 46 countries had signed where it is montreal montreal is in uh, a city called quebec where it is in canada it is in canada so this treaty helped in the redu uh, reduction of the production of harmful uh, human made chemicals that is uh, able to uh, that is able to substantiate that means deplete the ozone layer substantiate that the cause of uh, this so uh, the of ozone layer so this is this car uh, by human activities we uh, exert number of gases number of harmful gases what are they what are they they are surely the um chlorofluorocarbon hydro chloro uh, fluorocarbon hydro borom um, boromeo fluorocarbon melthin or methylene uh, methylene methylene methyl or methylene methyl boro boromide are these are the gases that depletes the ozone gas ozone gas and so these are this where are they used by humans these are used in our acs in our uh, refrigerators and uh, coolers uh, surely it is not so much in coolers but uh, 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 the acs and uh, and also for the um, the medical purposes they are used to keep or to protect the certain um, uh, certain drugs you need to have uh, all this kind of gases there are most of these gases are cool gas they are cool they keep the things cool so they are very very important also but but it is in one one side is harmful the other side is is profitable so the 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 problem with the ozone depletion substan uh, substance that is ods is that they are not washed back into the form of rain on the earth and in fact remain in the atmosphere for quite long period this ozone gas is not washed away by the rain that is what it means but it is only uh, depleted or made whole by these gases chlorofluorocarbon okay cfl next one the emission of ods amount uh, account for roughly 90% of total depletion of ozone layer in the atmosphere these gases are carried to the atmosphere atmosphere layer of atmosphere stratosphere uh, layer of the atmosphere where ultraviolet radiation from the sun break them to release chlorine and for, uh, from cfcs and uh, bromine from a uh, methyl methylene is that methylene bromides and uh, halons all these are gases what is the effect of it the effect of ozone depletion by the, the depletion of the uh, uh, ozone layer we get we uh, the ultraviolet rays of the sun reaches to the earth surface and and uh, creates burns the living things burns the living things and cause skin cancer cataracts sunburns 
weakening of the immune system of every living being so that's why when we are uh, in the sun for most of the uh, little more uh, time then we feel weak also we are dehydrated and all that because of the heat but then at the same time all this weakening of the immune system the the uh, ability to do to function up in our body we are energy loose and all that is there many crops and species are also vulnerable the vulnerable means exposed to the to the ultraviolet rays and so they die out they die out all these are the the crops are named over here next one is the certain marine life also are affected by this they are exposed to the strong ultraviolet rays in the aquatic food chain that is plankton appear high up if the plankton decreases in number due to ozone layer destruction then what happen the marine food will be lost the marine food chain will be disrupted and then the the uh, aquatic animal will not be able to get food so marine life suffers another point is that in in uh, domesticated animals too much of ultraviolet radiation could also lead to skin and eye cancer therefore most of the animals especially human beings are getting cancer due to this materials like the plastic wood fabric wood fiber uh, fabric rubbers get uh, massively degraded by too much of ultraviolet radiation so these are the things that i wanted to discuss with you and uh, you find one more thing that uh, i did not uh, i think I emphasize the ozone hole what is this ozone hole yes ozone hole in the mid latitude remember the longitude and latitude for example over australia ozone layer is thinning that means the middle mid latitude in atmospheric region over antarctica ozone layer is significantly thinning especially in the spring season this has led to the formation of what call the ozone hole ozone hole that means uh, because ozone hole is uh, ozone uh, gas is not at all there in the spring season because that time is the very cold very cold season okay so this is uh, not able to uh, formulate the ozone layer and so uh, these are the uh, thing that i wanted to um, discuss today please go through once again and if you don't understand ask me in any form thank you